guys, so I am currently filming on Mother's Day. We're about to go do our celebration for the best mommy in the world, <laughs> and um, I just figured, you know, I really like how I look, you know, I like how my makeup's done, and um, looking all pretty uh, just for her today, so I figured I would get some filming in while I have a little bit of time. So, anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing the Painterly and Constructivist um, paint pots from MAC. Now, paint pots retail for, I know, between $15 and $20, and I'll put, you know, the more specific in information in um, the description box or as a caption, but these are, you know, the lovely bad boys. We all know what pay pots are, and Painterly is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, of the MAC paint pots. These have 5 grams of product in each of them, and they act as an eyeshadow base. So for some people, this could be a primer, you know, which means that it's preparing your eyes for some eyeshadow products. For some pr people, this could just act as a cream shadow, and they're just going to swipe this on their eyes and go out for the day. Or for some people, this is an eye base, and it'll go over an eyeshadow primer because they need an extra uh, little oomph uh, for the color of their eyeshadow to pop, but they also need the primer underneath to prevent creasing. I personally have used these in all three of those contexts, and I really, really like them. To give you a kind of close-up, this is Painterly, which is just kind of, you know, almost like my skin tone kind of base. Um, and they're super creamy, super pigmented. I have a henna tattoo on right now, so I don't know if my swatching is going to be the best, but you can see it right there. And then Constructivist is this dark, um, kind of almost shiny, little bit of sheen brown, but it is a very dark brown color. It definitely has more of a sheen than Painterly. Painterly is just kind of a matte, neutral base color. Now, I would like to compare these for a moment to the Maybelline Color Tattoos, which uh, is another cream base that everybody knows and loves. That is Bad to the Bronze, which is right near Constructivist. As you can see, it definitely is even shinier and um, more bronzy than brown, than Constructivist. However, um, these only have 4 grams of product, whereas the MAC have 5 grams. You can tell definitely the MAC one feels a bit heavier than the Maybelline one, although other than that, they do have kind of the same, you know, clear, heavy, weighted packaging. However, Maybelline retails for, I don't know, six to eight bucks, whereas MAC is between 15 and 20. So you're only getting a gram more of product for kind of a similar product. I mean, the only problem there is are you going to find a dupe in the Maybelline one versus the MAC, which I know there have been a couple dupes found. I just don't know um, what shades they were for, but I'm sure you can find a million videos on that subject. As far as creasing goes, I experience minimal creasing with these products, um, both the color tattoos and the paint pots from MAC. Um, but I have noticed that if I don't put an eyeshadow over these, I experience a little bit more creasing than I would when I do set them with an eyeshadow. So I prefer using these as an eyeshadow base. My kind of best situation is using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, then the eyeshadow base, and then an eyeshadow. Um, however, I have um, enjoyed using the Painterly Paint Pot as just um, a base and a primer, and it's worked pretty well. It creases a little bit more than when I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion or my Motives Gold Dust Eyeshadow Base, but um, it doesn't crease like a ridiculous amount, and it makes the eyeshadow last um, pretty much all day. I don't know if you guys saw the um, How Not to Look Sick When You Really Are Sick makeup tutorial video I did a couple months ago, but I used the Painterly paint pot as basically just my eyeshadow and this will kind of neutralize my dark and shiny eyelids when I'm sick um, and just kind of make them look a little bit better however like I said it does crease a bit faster when I do just that um, but if you want to see that in action I'll link that video below. All in all I think these are really good products and I really do enjoy them and I'm glad that I have a couple in my collection. These 
were both thankfully sent to me. I actually never have purchased a paint pot for myself. Um, Constructivist was sent to me by a lovely subscriber, which I can link that video below. And then the Painterly was um, sent to me by my friend Liz. And so that is really, really cool too. So I really appreciate those being sent to me. I use them a lot and I really do enjoy them. And yeah, so that's basically all for this review. I really do like these products. I just think if you want to get the best use and wear out of them, you want to use a primer underneath um, if you have oily eyelids. If not, you should be fine. And you want to set it with an eyeshadow, a powder eyeshadow over it to make the eyeshadows last all day and more vibrant. It's really cool because with Constructivist, it's, you know, that's one of those shades you can play around with. Put this under like a pink eyeshadow and it just kind of changes how it looks, you know. So that's what's fun about using the, um, the colored, um, bases and then the neutral base is just awesome for an everyday kind of base. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and if it was helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really enjoy your company. Give me a comment down below on what you think of the MAC Paint Pots or the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I love them both. And look forward to more videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.